Inside the CAM environment, we have the ability to select different tools for different processors. Obviously, this component is being machined with the same tool because I don't have a tool changing system. But if I go into the tool selection, it'll pop up with a tool selection library where I have all of the cutting tools defined for this particular document and then I can look through the tool library by different ways of selecting I can say by tool type so I can look at all my drills for instance in the system systems pre-populated with uh, a whole bunch of cutting tools with basically default feeds and speeds that you can run those tools at. You'll notice here that there's lots of number 97 drills. That's because in the library we have each different tool type set up for different materials. So the first one is for aluminum all the way down through to 97 cut in titanium. And you'll see the difference basically is the speeds and feeds. You can drop it down, speed it up. So you've got a full choice of tools. Most machines have got automatic tool changes. So you've got all the flat mills, or your bull nose, tapered mills. And then you can even go into libraries and create your own tool library, where you can create a new milling tool or a new holder. Here you can define the tool number, the diameter offsets for the machine tool, and all of the dimensions of the actual cutter. If you change the type, it'll change the picture of the, of the tool. And then you can define what the shaft looks like, holder information, holder geometry, and then the speeds and feeds for that particular tool. And this is going to come back when you reuse it. All of these speeds and feeds you define here are going to be the default for that tool. There's also tools defined for machining plastics, stainless steel. And so there's a whole database of tooling here that you can use when you are in the CAM environment